Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Cookie as well as my fellow trainer Gabe. And he has Rembrandt today, and we're going to be working on some loose leash walking. Now, the biggest distraction you can ever give a dog on a walk is some loose leash walking with another dog. So what we're going to be doing is just practicing walking around, and the three rules are still the same. So no pulling, no dragging, no sniffing the ground, but we got the additional challenge of the dogs can't pull each other to greet whatsoever. So we always start the same way with the dog's name and then the command. Cookie, let's go. Right off the bat, really nice draw from both dogs. They're both setting a wonderful pace. And you can see Gabe's using some food just to encourage Remy to keep an eye on him. Really nice job. And you see Cookie's keeping a nice and even pace as well. You see Remy's getting lots of praise. Cookie's doing really nice too. You see Cookie did look at Remy right there, but she immediately returned to the walk, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now right there, Cookie did walk a little bit ahead of me, so she just received a correction, and she moved right back into place. Really nice job. Now we're gonna change directions. Yes, good girl. You see Cookie immediately changed directions. Really nice job. And look at that eye contact from Remy. That's really nice. We're going to do a couple more laps. Both dogs are doing really nice so far. Good girl, Cookie. Good girl. Come on. All right, we're going to do one more. You see right there, Remy tried to cross in front of Gabe, so we just gave him a correction and he returned to the right position. Now to stop with your dog, you're just gonna go ahead, say their name, and then take a couple extra steps to give them space. So in Gabe's case, it's gonna be Remy. In my case, Cookie. Yes, good girl. And she offered an automatic sit. Really nice practice session with both dogs. They did great today. Let's go.